Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be doing the WWE Elimination Chamber 2022 predictions. So with me today in this video, doing the predictions along with me, is my special guest, Hi! <laughs> My girlfriend, Fur. So, you guys enjoyed when we did the predictions and reactions video for the last pay-per-view, the Rumble. So, we will be doing it in this video. We'll be doing our predictions. And then we might record our reactions, just a bit depending on what's happening during the next pay-per-view. So, with that being said, let's get on to the first match. So, the first match, we don't know if this is going to be the official order of the pay per view. I'm just kind of taking a guess. So, um, with that being said, the first match will be Rey Mysterio versus The Miz. So, in my opinion, I think they're going to have Rey Mysterio win um, because maybe I'm being biased because I love Rey Mysterio. But I also love The Miz. But, uh, you know, we just always got to go with Rey Mysterio. So, who do you think is going to win? I actually think The Miz is going to win. I think he's a little butthurt. He just lost the last one. So he's going to come back and might beat Rey Mysterio. Nah, nah, nah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Team Rey for the win. So the next match is a false count anywhere match. Drew McIntyre versus Matt Cat Moss. So for, let me explain to you. False count anywhere is pretty self-explanatory. You can do a pin anywhere in the entire arena. It does not have to be inside the ring. So he can do it outside in the parking lot. He can do it out in the back in the bathroom, in the ring, anywhere in the entire building. As long as, you know, they're still wrestling. So Drew McIntyre versus Madcap Moss. Um, pretty easy, Drew McIntyre. I don't think they're going to have Drew McIntyre lose to Madcap Moss. I agree. You going with Drew McIntyre? Yeah, I go with Drew. Okay. So, the next match is a SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The Usos versus the Viking Raiders. Do you remember who the Usos are? The one that goes with Roman Reigns. The two twin brothers. Oh, yeah, the Usos. I'm going to go with the Usos. Um, I don't even know who the Viking Raiders are. So, the yeah. Usos. If you guys don't know, first, pretty new to watching wrestling. So, she's still learning everybody. So, she'll, she'll find out who they are. Um, the Viking Raiders aren't a bad team, but the Usos are just having so much momentum with Roman Reigns, and honestly, they're the Usos. They're one of the best tag teams, if I might say, in history um, of, rest of WWE wrestling. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to go with the Usos, not only because they're one of my favorite tag teams and have always, have always been one of my favorite tag teams, but I just don't see them losing to the Viking Raiders. So the next match is a t uh, tag team match, Ronda Rousey and Naomi versus the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. So, do you remember Ronda Rousey? Mm hmm And you remember Naomi? Mm hmm So they're teaming up, and they're going to be facing Charlotte and Sonya. Ooh, that's hard, because I love Charlotte. But I also love Naomi. Just because she got... It was brutal. She got treated pretty brutal. Mm. I think I'm going to go for Rhonda and Naomi. Because Charlotte runs a lot. I'm going to have to go with also Rhonda and Naomi. Because, you know, I don't see Rhonda losing. Um, but we could always have that shock factor. Maybe they're trying to have Charlotte get one up on Rhonda before WrestleMania. But... I, I don't know. Naomi's been losing a lot as of late with this whole Sonya th uh, feud, so I, I can see them giving it to Ronda and Naomi. Yeah, what if Naomi's coming back and, like, wrecking Sonya because she wouldn't have not lost the other match because of, of because Sonya. Sonya? Yeah, uh, first talking about when uh, Sonya screwed over Naomi in the Rumble. Uh, next match is two of my favorites. This one's hard for me. It's my current favorite wrestler, women's wrestler, versus my all-time, like, past Hall of Famer women's wrestler, Becky Lynch versus Lita. If you guys know, I love Becky and I love Lita. Lita was my childhood favorite female wrestler growing up, and Becky is my all-time favorite. Like, it's just, this one's going to be an interesting one, but this is for the Raw Women's uh, Championship, 
And I definitely see Becky taking the W and taking that title home with her. Um, just because I don't see Lita taking it and made it like having the a match at WrestleMania with it. I don't know. I just feel like this is like a filler match just to get them to WrestleMania. Um, but if Becky loses and it's Lita, then they'll probably face each other at WrestleMania. But I don't know. I, I see Becky winning. I, I don't ever imagine Becky losing. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Becky and losing are not in the same sentence. <laughs> unless there's a knot in it. Oh, unless there's a knot in front of losing. <laughs> Becky's not losing, ever. <laughs> so you're going with Becky? I'm going with Becky. All right, next match. Elimination Chamber match for an opportunity at the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. So whoever wins this match will face either Becky or Lita at WrestleMania. And it is Alexa Bliss versus Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair, versus Dewdrop, versus Nikki Ash. Now, for I know you don't know what an Elimination Chamber match is, but basically, as I'm looking it up and I'm going to tell you about it, it is like a steel cage. Like, they're all inside of a cage. No, I remember. Oh, you remember it? Yeah. And they all come in at one at a time, and they have to face each other until the last person is standing. And so whoever wins this match gets to go to WrestleMania against probably Becky. So, who, who are you going with? Alexa Bliss, okay. Liv Morgan, Rhea, Bianca, Dewdrop, or Nikki Ash? See, I got... Okay. It's a... I have multiple theories, right? My first theory is, like, Dewdrop. Because uh-huh. she just got beat by Becky. Like, and it was... Not that it was bad, but it was pretty close. Mm-hmm. So, maybe she's going to try to beat everyone to go against Becky again. Or, my favorite, Bianca Belair. So, my theory here is they have to set it up for WrestleMania. This is going to be a big WrestleMania match. WrestleMania is the Super Bowl of wrestling. So, it has to be a match that someone's going to want to see at WrestleMania. So, out of Alexa Bliss, Liv, Rhea, Bianca, Dewdrop, and Nikki, I'm going to either go with Liv Morgan or Rhea Ripley. Specifically, probably Rhea. Rhea Ripley would be a good one. Her versus Becky? Or Liv Morgan to get her comeback. All right, next match is the men's elimination chamber, and uh, we have the champion Bobby Lashley. This is probably for the title. So the champion Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar versus Austin Theory versus Matt Riddle versus AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. So whoever wins this match becomes the WWE champion and goes on to WrestleMania. Riddle's the one with the long hair, right? Yeah, the one that with the flip flops and he looks like he's he's high all the time. I love him so much, but like for the dumbest reasons. <laughs> so who do you but think is gonna win the title? I love Lashley too. You know what? Either Seth freaking Rollins or Bobby Lashley. I'm gonna have to say Bobby Lashley is gonna retain his title and take it to WrestleMania and Lesnar and him will have their WrestleMania match. Unless, I don't know if Lesnar's already going after Roman, um, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be Lesnar and Lashley. And for the Universal Championship and probably the main event of the night, it is Roman Reigns, the champion, versus Goldberg. So Goldberg is a WWE Hall of Famer. Um, He's very similar to Brock Lesnar if you want to compare people. But, um, yeah, uh... Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. I'm going for Roman. There's no way Goldberg is going to take this title. Because if they do another Goldberg and Ro- and Lesnar match, I do not want to see that. Even though I know Lesnar and Roman have fought a lot. But I'd rather see that than Goldberg and Lesnar. So I'm going to go with Roman. Roman's the one I don't like, right? Because he cheats? Yeah. It's going to be Roman. Because he cheats. Nah, don't hate on Roman. Because he cheats. He's a cheater. His manager, his cousin, his brother, someone's going to come out and smack Lesnar. Like, you mean Or Goldberg, Goldberg last minute. So, yeah, guys. Those are our predictions for the upcoming pay-per-view. Uh, if you guys do not know, uh, the Elimination Chamber is uh, this Sunday. and uh, Or, sorry, this Saturday. My my bad. I'm used to pay-per-views being on on. Sundays, but it is on Saturday, February 12th, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. It is going to be held in Saudi Arabia, I believe. So that's oh, why that. the weird time, it's not at night, it's during the daytime because of that. So um, hope you guys are going to catch it. If you guys are going to watch it, comment down below what your predictions are and if you guys are looking forward to it. 
And if you guys want to see us to do, if you guys want to see our reactions to this match, smash a thumbs up and also comment down below that you want to see our reactions. And yeah, with that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on Friday with my next video. Bye! Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. <laughs> <laughs>